Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to duplicate and the, and the location of the caliper guide pin. As you can see, I'm trying to take off this caliper guide pin here. It's very, very stiff and strong. Very, very stiff and strong. This is not right. This is not right at all, at all, at all. It is advisable each time you replaced your brake pad it is very very advisable and necessary you check out the caliper guide pin you know because it is very important and you have to cross check them to make sure they are free they, they can slide in in and out freely you know because most cases when the caliper guide um, pin is stuck or seized in there um, the braking of this of the car will be rough and the even in most cases you will notice that the inner brake pad which is this one here this one the inner brake pad will be more more lower than the outer one to wear down more frequently than the one outside because the caliper is not sliding in and out the work of this guide pin that i am lubricating right now it helps um the caliper it helps the, the, the it pushes the brake pads in and out it allow, allows it to move back and forth you know so to help you achieve the proper braking you know so this is very very important it using a standard grease or a standard lubricant you know the one that will stand the test of heat you know so it is very important you lubricate it it is applicable to every car you know every car regardless of the, the um, make of car or the type it is very very important any car at all is not limited to mercedes or toyota it is very important to do it